All right, in a previous video, uh, we created a little image in PowerPoint, and I told you to get it into your Google Doc by going up to Insert and Image, and then choosing whatever image you want to put in, in this case, tip box green, which is in the Libraries Pictures folder. And voila, there you go. Now, um, my students are going to be putting text on top of this image. So actually, that's not a good way to do it. That's if, if the image you already want is already finalized and ready to go, you can use Insert Image. But if you want to layer things, Insert Image doesn't work. So select this and delete it. Let's insert a drawing. Remember, everything almost everything graphical except for images is going to be considered a drawing in Google in uh, in G Suite I think they call it now and this gives you this little app your little drawing app um, and now let's go to image and import that here it looks the same choose image to upload go to libraries pictures folder Name of the file is tip box green. Okay, now we get something that looks like this and we can start layering it. Let's write something in this little speech bubble here. Let's go up to insert text box and then draw a little text box and write. Tip. Now, if you're looking for the uh, the options to change the font and change the side, you're going to have to go over here to More. Oh, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. They're right here. Uh, I've got some alignment options here. Center. Let's make it a little bigger here. Find a font that looks good. Yeah, it doesn't look particularly good, but you get the idea. Play around with it. And that's how you layer text. So I'm going to put another text box on here. And I'm sure you don't want to watch me type everything, so I've co typed it ahead of time. I'm going to use Control Copy to copy. Paste. And then I'm going to insert another text box down here. Grab my information. You can control C for copy, or you can right click and hit copy. And then paste. And there you go. You've got a little box that you might see in a textbook. Uh, it's got an image with text boxes layered over the top of it. Click save and close, and it gets inserted right into your document.